Hello guys, once again, it's Matt and today we have another video. Thank you all the members, all the patrons, make sure to subscribe and let's get into it guys. So, today I wanted to talk a little bit about, I think it is real shatter and just spalling in general. And some of the things that have been changed today. So, basically they increased the number of fragments of high explosive and fragmentation rounds of 20mm cannons of ground and aircraft. And it actually fixed a bug that caused a game client to crash after joining a battle as well. So very cool. But let's actually take a look on this. And after that, I want to take a look on the spalling effects of, of some Russian and American tanks. Uh, that a lot of people are talking about how the, the Russians are just biased or anything like that. And to try to explain a little bit. I actually read a little bit about it and I think I understood what is happening. So let's just go to the data mines of this first. So as you see over here uh, in the latest patches, uh, we are getting basically all of these cannons, 20 millimeters, 15s to 25s, and even some 30s, 23 millimeters, and all sorts of cannons. They basically got an increase in the radius scale of the spalling or the the, the amount of you know, a reduced uh, actually reduced. No, it's a reduction, not low. I saw. I thought it was a, an increase, uh, but uh, increase in the portion counts of spallings. I think that's what it means, or the, the sh sharp now, if you will, right? So let's take a look on the game to see if we can actually see the difference. So we are here. Let's grab another aircraft over here. Uh, let's, uh, I don't know, let's bring a MiG-21 over here. And then we're going to go to protection analysis. Uh, let's test just some missiles, uh, some cannons over here. Let me grab a 22 millimeter. So it should be doing more fragments than it was before. And it, it does feel like it is a little bit. But it's not by much, man. It, it really isn't by much. It feels better. But, lol, that's a weird bounce, kind of bounce. Uh, but, I don't know. It feels better. It feels like he has a little bit more of... You know, more, the, more numbers of sharp nails. But it, it isn't too much. I gotta say, it isn't much. Uh, let's take a look on some American. Um, for example, 20 millimeter over here of the F eight, F9F. You see that, like, it's it's spreading a little bit more, right? It's You can see, like... I don't know, it's hard to actually see how many. But it's definitely close to 10 to 12, you know. But the thing is that... Uh, According to that data mine, it isn't too much, you know, so it should be a little bit better. It should be doing a little bit more damage. And of course, if it is increased from 10 to 12 uh, particles of sharp now that uh, these rounds are actually producing, it is 20% and a 20% increase, right? So it's not a small increase, but I don't know if it's going to do 20% more damage. It really does feel like it is very much similar from what it was before. Sometimes it doesn't do damage, sometimes it does. Uh, sometimes it does these weird bounces. Let's see a very odd angle like this. It, ex uh, it exploded. So, I don't know, it's just weird. Um, you probably might need to actually still hit very, like... I mean, this is kind of obvious, right? But you can see, like, for, for example, right here, if you fired right here, you would probably catch on fire because of the tank. But if you fire right here... Or, I don't know, like right here. It will just damage the engine a little bit. So, it's not doing a lot of damage still, I don't think. But it's probably better than it was before, I think, you know. And the spalling was kind of weird. I actually saw some posts about the spalling of tanks yesterday. And what people was actually complaining about was that, for example, in this uh, Russian tank over here. Let me grab uh, an American round. And once you actually shoot in like a lowered position over here, just below the um, the autoloader, for example, the actual route will produce a lot of spall. You know, as you see, it's producing a lot of spalling, but it's not actually going for the autoloader, as you see. It's actually even going, but something is actually holding that and it's not damaging the actual uh, round itself and it's not making it explode. As you see right there, again, you know, it's not doing any damage to the autoloader. But if we go to the Abrams, for example, let me just compare to the Abrams, for example, but you can compare to other tanks as well, to the Leopard or anything like that. 
and you shoot in the same position. Let me grab uh, let me grab the same round just to to make sure we have that variable to be less a proper problem. As you can see, it killed uh, the loader with the spalling. You know, let me shoot right there. As you see, kills the loader, and sometimes it damages even the cannon. Sometimes it it can even kill the tank with one shot. If you shoot it correctly, it can actually um, kill both crewmen, uh, crewmen, or even three of them. Let's see if we can actually kill the three of them. Yeah, see, two of them. If you shoot like right here, probably it's going to kill the three of them. Yeah, and it's a it's a it's a kill shot basically, right? And you can see uh, the amount of sharp now that it's just going upwards, right? The amount of spalling. And why isn't it doing the same with Russian tanks? So apparently people actually looked into it and it isn't anything like too crazy, to be honest. Apparently there isn't any modification or anything like that in the armor itself. It's producing the same level of um, spalling, the same armor levels, you know, of course, someone uh, like a, a higher, you know, a, a thicker plate of armor will produce more spalling than a, a less thicker, but still they are producing basically the same. What is happening actually in these Russian tanks is that um, it doesn't appear here. It doesn't, oh, a shot on the round. <laughs> that doesn't count, of course, because, you know, uh, but yeah, you can see right there. So, see, let's shoot it again. Pay attention to the sharp nail going here. See, right there. It's staying there, it's staying there, and it's not doing any damage. And why is that? Uh, there isn't any specific kind of hidden thing here, apart from an extra armor plate on the autoloader. So what actually happens in these tanks is that it actually has armor for sharp nail around the autoloader, which means that it will take the sharp nail and not basically penetrate not detonating the ammo. So that's why, you know, and that's a problem of just not explaining to the player base what is happening. You know, see right there, for example, the rounds just basically the sharp note just went forward and stayed on the autoloader. Um, it has basically a six millimeter plate around the autoloader itself. That means that it's actually protecting the autoloader. But if you go to any of these parts or anything like that, it doesn't show that. So it's hidden. So that's the big problem. Uh, it should be like a plate around here showing, well, at least with these show armor parts, that you have a 6mm plate over here. That would mean that people would actually understand why the autoloader is not exploding with sharp nail, you know? And it makes a lot of sense, actually, because these tanks had this in real life. And they are each actually improving that, uh, for example, in the T90M and other tanks. So it's kind of weird, right? It really is kind of weird because there is no explanation for it. And apparently players had to go to the community. I was just looking in the, um, in the Reddit, right? They had to go to the files and actually see that there is actually a plate of armor over here protecting the alpha loader. So that's the reason why the Soviet tanks uh, don't die from the alpha loader shots that are he being hit by sharp nail and not the, the, the round itself. Obviously, if you still hit correctly, right? If you still hit in the middle of the um, of the autoloader, the six millimeter plate is not enough. Obviously, for us, like a 500, 600 millimeter round, you know, obviously. But uh, at least for the sharp nail itself, you can even see that it, it, it takes the sharp nail, right? Even though the ammo penetrates it, you can see that it, it just absorbs the sharp nail all around. So the uh, for the first like part of the penetration, like it actually penetrates the the, M, the armor plate over here, it creates sharp nail, and it explodes because the actual APFS the S is penetrating, but the sharp nail created by the first uh, layer of armor over here, this one, uh, actually is there, uh, and it's taking the hit. You know, the armor plate of the autoloader is taking the spalling from this part. And it's actually protecting the tank. So it's very interesting, but it really shows that sometimes, uh, you know, we just, just need to actually have more ex explanations of things. You know, it's not that the game has a problem or anything like that. Not it, that, it, that it's perfect, right? It should be improved all the time, you know. But still, 
um, they didn't explain this. So for a new player, you will see this and think, oh my god, Russian bias, right? But uh, there is actually an explanation that they are not putting into the game. So it makes a lot of difference for uh, the community to actually know this thing. So yeah, apparently this is it. But anyway, I thought it was uh, fair enough to actually say about these things. How do you like feel about these changes of the sharpness of the 20 millimeters? Do you like them or not? Let me know in the comments and I see you guys on the next one. Bye guys. See ya.